Hello. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome Hello. back to Sewing Agape. I am Kimberly. I'm Candace. And we're back with our last snack crate. So we're gonna we stop the subscription after this month and then we're gonna switch to beauty products. Uh, cause we're going to try to do a whole 60, so whole 30 times two, which we now, at the time we leave for our trip to Bali. So yeah. we can't have snack cake cause it's way too tempting. It is. So we're going to do a beauty, uh, box. I think I'm going to do Ipsy and you're going to do Birch, Birch box. I think, and we're going to open them. So but we haven't even started ordering them yet. No, we haven't. All right. Um, but if you guys are interested in whole 30 and you would like some of what we eat to get through, we have already done it once. This will be our second time. Um, and we had pretty good results. Candace, I think, I lost 30 pounds total over a three-month period. And I lost 20. So, so um, we had really good results. If you guys want um, <clears throat> any tips or whatever, Candace makes all of our dressings, which are delicious. So maybe we can do like a make ranch with me or make mayonnaise. I've never seen it. <laughs> Magical fairy just delivers it to my house. But anyway, let's get into snack crate. All right, here we go. Where do you think it's from? Oh. <gasps> Candace! Oh, Candace! You have been guessing. I think I, I guessed this last video. I guess it every video. Every video. So, but uh, if there's Vegemite in here, you can't look in there. What are you doing? I'm looking. Oh, the thing I always do. Oh, oh look at these. Okay. So, facts about Australia. There are three times more sheep than people living in Australia. Only licensed electricians are legally allowed to change a light bulb in Australia. What? what? Okay, wait. Our Australian friends, is that true? Like, do um, you really don't? I mean, I know it's legal, but like, do you really, do you change a light bulb? I'm sure they do. 17 of the world's most poisonous snakes can be found in Australia. Believe that. Yeah, me too. People from Queensland are nicknamed banana benders. <laughs> nice. Uh, koalas sleep for about 20 hours a day. And while mining is one of Australia's biggest industries, more land is covered... <laughs> Sorry, by pubs that mines. I Interesting. believe it. Um, they like to get yeah. saucy down there. <laughs> All right, here you go. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right. Oh, what a good one to end on. This I is know. the one you've been like waiting my for. It's my dream. All right, here we go. Ooh, ooh. ooh. First thing out of the bag, French fries. Which are my favorite food. Yeah. Uh, the real thing, the not real these. Thing. Um, um, not okay, French fries original, Australia's original, excuse me, crunchy potato straw snack, crispy, salty, and oh. perfectly potato -y. I would not call these French fries. These look like potato sticks. But don't, don't we have, I mean, we have potato sticks here. Don't some people call them French fries? Nobody I associate with. <laughs> okay, just like... <laughs> The potato yes, sticks that you can get here, they're good. All right, we're gonna pass this to our mom because she's watching, but she doesn't so want to be on So we gotta keep film. it appropriate today. Yeah. All right. Gotta behave ourselves, mom. Oh, air. Mm -hmm. All right. From Australia. Let's do, Here's, oh shoot. I don't see any Vegemite on here. Good. Tim Tams. These are my jam. Are they? You've had this? Yeah. When I was in Australia, I had a lot of Tim Tams, and they also sell them at Costco here in the United States. Do they really? Yeah, and you can get, you can't get all the cool flavors, but yeah. Okay, so this is Tim Tam Original. Two chocolate cookie biscuits are filled with smooth chocolate cream, then drenched in even more decadent chocolate. I like the word drenched. Anything that's drenched in chocolate or sauce or wafer. Right. <gasps> and they're wafer snaps, there we go. Oh my gosh. My jam. Well, this is not a wafer. This is a cookie, and it mm. is delicious. It's like the bottom layer of a Twix, mm -hmm. but with milk chocolate throughout, like a milk and chocolate drenched. creaminess. I mean, drenched is a good word. Yeah, this is delicious. Okay, and also I was just looking at this wrapping yeah, paper, and all along we were thinking that the wrapping, I mean, the tissue paper was saying like a bunch of different languages. It's just whatever language it's from, and then different slang words from, or like not slang words, different words from that. So all along we've been wrong on what these things said. But now we know. <laughs> now Not we the know. first or last time we'll be wrong about <laughs> All right. Okay, what's next? What are these? Mm. I feel like I'm not gonna like these as much, so maybe. I don't even see These it. are hard, Candace. Please be careful. All right. Okay, oh my, these are like hard. What is it, Okay, taffy? they're called 
Fantails, smooth and velvety caramels coated with milk chocolate, Ooh. individually wrapped so you can stop yourself from eating the whole bag at once. That's that won't never deter me. Us. Never. That's never mm -hmm. stopped us. Oh. That's the reason we gotta do a whole 60. <laughs> mm. Oh, more of that Tim Tam. It's like a big Rolo. This is hard on your teeth. Mm -hmm. Not as hard as some things we've had, but. I don't know. Try that, girl. I gotta take it off my teeth. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. man. That's okay. Um. Oh, that looks delicious. Yeah. All right. My nose itches. Oh, but weird. Okay. This is a Wagon Wheel original. Oh, oh gosh. A Wagon can Wheel you, original. Can you just come on over into the, into the party with me? All right. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, oh, move the whole tip. Okay. Um, and the thing is, though, oh, this, this has chocolate-coated marshmallow and jam. Um, the last time we had a jam something, it didn't work out well. It was that cake. We're still doing this last thing. I know, I had to pull it out of my teeth, literally. Okay, so this is Wagon Wheels, sweet marshmallow filling, sandwiched between two soft biscuits, then dipped in rich chocolate. By the way, our mom had the Tim Tam and loved it, so, and she's super picky. So if you're going to go to Costco and pick them up, it's a safe bet. Oh, they didn't really <gasps> line oh. those right, but look at that bad also, boy. Also, um... The, I feel right. like we're kind of being like... It did not like, snap at all. It like... It's like the smallest moon pie in all the land. <laughs> she's whispering, but y'all can still hear her, so she should just... I think it's a giant bite for someone who doesn't like jam. Or oh, marshmallow. Oh, I like this. It tastes like a s'more that got dipped in your breakfast jelly. Here, Mom. That's good. I like this. The j it would actually be better without the jam. Mm-hmm. I mean, it would just be a s'more. Yeah. <laughs> Then it would just be a moon pie. Let's go salty. Okay. Twisties cheese. I'm thinking Cheetos. We just got done from seeing The Greatest Showman. I've seen it three times in the, in the theater. I've seen it twice. <laughs> it is phenomenal and the music's in my head and I love it. And these are Australia's most popular snack. Um, Twisties cheese. This crispy cheese flavored corn and rice snack has been a favorite for over 60 years. Thinking Cheetos. Cheetos. Mm. They're not as like, you know, like when Cheetos are like super, super cheesy, but like fake cheese. This These taste like more real like real cheese, cheese yeah. but the same amount of dusting. They're good. Also, they're not orange, so they're like the color of drop those of cheese. That's where Evelyn's got gotcha. you. All right. Oh, let's go. <clears throat> now we have Alan. Oh, okay, I'll. I'll Allen's Pineapple Chewies. Allen's Pineapple, sweet pineapple shaped gummy candy. One bite and you'll be taken to the tropics by their pineapple goodness. I better be. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, they're really cute. They are really cute. See those? Oh. They're good. That is actually, so you know how like some things that are flavored, like some candies that are flavored like a thing and they taste nothing like it? It's usually watermelon. Yeah, water and it's like water. overpowering. This is actually tastes exactly like pineapple. This is good. And um, they're more like kids gummies versus like gummy bears. Mm -hmm. Are you know what I'm saying? They're way better than the horrible ones. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Oh, look. She's like, walk on. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. This is called a chomp monster chew. It's got an alligator with a pigtail. Uh oh, can dance. Maybe that's a dinosaur. A crispy wafer. Oh god. Layer with caramel. And then coated in rich milk chocolate. It's a monster chew. Apparently it is. Alright. Man, they go big or go home, right? These last things in here are big. Oh. That looks so delicious. It looks like it's right up our alley. Tastes like coffee. It'd actually be better without the caramel. Right? Like peanut butter instead? It does Tastes like a nutty buddy. Another butter? What are they called? Nutty, no, because it's not nearly as crunchy. It's a little bit stale or tasting. It's not crunchy at all. It's like soft wafer. But that, that flavor of wafer though. Mm -hmm. And I think it tastes like coffee. Like it has a very mm -hmm. coffee flavor to it. Oh. It's not bad. 
but it's not, not a favorite. Oh gosh. Look at how giant this is. Can we just I it's have like a feeling bigger than your face. I hope this is honeycomb, but I don't know <gasps> what it is. It looks like honeycomb. <laughs> it choked a little. It is oh. a crumbly honeycomb toffee center coated in two layers of creamy chocolate. Okay, so honeycomb. How did you know that was gonna be honeycomb? Because look at that. It looks like honeycomb. Oh. Right there, it looks like honeycomb. But the fact that it has honeycomb and toffee, you're speaking my language. Um, we go to Sprouts and get their honeycomb, their chocolate covered honeycomb. Listen to the snap, ready? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> See my face? I was like, <laughs> all 21. Um, wow. Everything. So oh good. God. And you know what's nice about this? Because it's people who get weirded out by the actual honeycomb. This is like a ground up one that's been put back into a thing or something. The camera's on this one. Oh, yeah. You've got my choice now. Oh, good. And we still have about four times what we have. It's huge. Here, Mom, try this. Mm. Mom's one of those people who weirded out by hunting home. But it's not really hunting home. It's like. She's all right. All right. Hold on, sorry, my nose. Mm, there's another one of these. Well, those are too much for me. All right. Three things left. Next we have Nestle's Milo or Milo snack with snack bar with milk. Mmm. Crunchy cereal pieces are infused with chocolate powder, formed into a bar, then dipped in milk. Great for an on the go snack. I feel like these are when you remember cereal the cereal bar. bars that you yeah. and they're like this looks the like the cocoa chocolate, crispy one. Yeah, chocolate fruity pebbles. You almost whacked me in the face. Good riddance. There you go. <laughs> This kind of tastes like coffee too. Maybe their chocolate's just not as sweet as ours and we feel like it tastes like coffee. <laughs> I don't think it tastes like coffee. I'm interested in what's in this milk thing because it's the tiniest layer, but it's pretty potent. Like, it does not smell well. Good. It's not bad. But I feel like it's one of those things that you eat and then don't remember eating. Do you know, like, like 10 minutes later, you're like, Wow, starving. Yeah. <laughs> I really want that. Okay. It's not bad. It's kind of flavorless. All right. Milky now we've got the Milky Way chocolate whip. Mmm. Unlike its U.S. counterpart, Australia's Milky Way is filled only with a light and sweet nougat center. So it's like our. So no caramel. Three Musketeers. Oh. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. It's thinner than ours. Yeah. That's exactly what it is, is a muscle three musketeers. <laughs> are those made by competing companies or the same company? I think there's the same, right? Nestle, right? Mm. Mm. It's pretty good. It's very um, chocolatey. Okay. All right. This is a fast box. I know. Last thing, we've got Shapes Originals Pizza Flavor. Okay. <laughs> it's interesting you left this for last because it's like the size of a kitty. Um, you want to go bag? home. All right. Delicious pizza flavored biscuits, oven baked to a salty, savory pizza y crunch. Oh, they're bigger than I thought they were going to be. Oh, I was excited. They look cool. like they have a pack of flavor on them. That one looks super flavorful. All right. Do so you all know what chicken and the biscuits are? These taste like those, like the kind of cracker. Mm -hmm. But with the pizza flavor, like these are, these are the pizza are flavor good. that's on everything in the nineties. Like, yeah. remember everything with pizza flavored in the nineties? Mm -hmm. Ma'am, these are good, but real good. <laughs> All right, so overall, my favorite's gonna have to be the honeycomb. Oh, your Tim Tam. We have a Tim Tam. My Tim Tam. So what kind of flavors do they have? They have like red velvet flavor tim tams they have like red velvet they have caramel they have white chocolate they have dark chocolate they have milk chocolate they have caramel what was your favorite um there was one box that had like a multi one that had like it was like white and brown and i don't remember what the two flavors were it might have just been like milk and white chocolate mixed together with like caramel maybe and that was like the bomb yeah it was really the good. bomb dot com um what was your favorite um i really liked 
I actually really liked everything, and even those caramel things tasted good. They, they were just I just I too. didn't like the the flavor. I mean, like literally nothing was nothing was bad. It was yeah, all it was all good. very good, yeah. very good. Um, it's a great box to end it our was snack a crate. great box to end their snack crate on. Yeah. I guess my favorite would probably be the Tim Tam because like that cookie and it, it was really good. Um, and it's it's different. It's different than anything we have here that I know of. Um, so Not true. we have Tim Tams here. I call school. Oh, I call <laughs> excuse, excuse me. Yeah. Um, so, anyway, this was a good box to end our snack crate journey for now. We're pausing mm -hmm. it. We might pick it back up. We thought, too, maybe we would pick a country for each other. Or, oh, like, like, go to Whole Foods. Go to Whole Foods and, like, and like, try, like, try to, or, like, you know, Google, like, what the famous, or, yeah. yeah. There's also another box we finally found out called Universal Yums. And it's the same thing as Stack Crate. I don't know what the price difference is. So if we ever wanted to do, like, try another brand, we can do that too. But anyways. So anyway. All right. So next All time right. we see y'all, it'll be with a different subscription Ipsy box. Ipsy and Birch Box. And if y'all have any other subscription box that you think we might should try um, that are not food related right now because we're about to start the whole 60, leave them down below. Go ahead and like this video. Thank you for watching and subscribing. And we will see you soon. Bye.